You know, folks, we are going to hopefully is lay some fish in this video, all right? But before I get today's video started, I, I really want to just have like a real talk with you guys for a minute or so, okay? It is April 10th, 2.46 p.m. right now. It's been less than 24 hours since the EPF swim one inch paddle tail swim bait, right? Made it to the Aero Tackle website. And uh, I checked earlier this morning, the chartreuse collar was already sold out. I talked to Ben, the owner of Aero Tackle, and he told me the sales are going really well. So we will definitely be designing more lures in the future and we will be working together. Look, fellas, it is pretty emotional for me to say this, but I just wanted to use this moment, you know, to give you all a big thank you for all the love and support. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing YouTube for six years and I have emphasized this multiple times. There, there, there are no YouTubers, right? Without the crew, without the viewers, the followers and the subscribers out there. And to know that you folks got my back like this, just let it be known, you know, that it is truly appreciated, man. It means a lot to me, okay? So anyways, let's, uh... all right, let's talk business, man. Let's get today's video started. It is the weekend of the trout opening season here in New Jersey. Now, let me tell you, year after year, I have done a lot of trout fishing in Pennsylvania, especially, you know, the opener season, right? I usually go to the Pennypack Creek where everything is shoulder to shoulder, combat fishing. But let me tell you, today is the afternoon of the opening day, and I just wanted to show you guys, all right? This is the Delaware and Raritan Canal in Mercer County, New Jersey, there's nobody out here, man. You know when they say that the world is not fair? How is it that Philadelphia County gets this shoulder to shoulder combat fishing first day and you just go a few train stations here to Mercer County and it's like solitude, tranquility, just you out here. It is crazy, isn't it? But anyways, last video on the channel, I actually landed a rainbow trout here at the Delaware Raritan Canal and I hear that this year they stuck the good. So I'm back here with the EPF swim, one inch. I got a white collar on, on a 132 size six Aero Tackle soft lock tungsten jig. And I pretty much just want to find out, I guess the main objective of the day is just to explore this stretch of DNR Canal. I'm going to leave it here in the video for you to know exactly where I am, okay? I've never trout fished around this portion. I just want to find out, you know, uh, if the stockings were good, right? If there's a lot of fish around and if there are, what exactly are these fish, right? Did they just stock with rainbow trout, the Onkorin Kuzmikis? Did they actually put some goldens in here? We're going to observe, we're going to fish, and hopefully we're going to islay with the EPF swim. Yeah, this is actually perfect for the EPF swim. You guys see here how there's current flowing from the left to the right. Just cast it out there, upstream, let the little jig sink all the way down. Make sure that you're using the appropriate weight, of course, you know, if the current's too heavy, use a heavier jig, right? But in terms of hook size, a lot of people have been asking me this. I would really recommend you all to stick to size six hook, okay? Oh my goodness, I'm not even making this up. Look at that, what did I tell you? My goodness, this was first cast of the day, man. I am not even making this up. Look at this, look at this. EPF is swim, white, top of the mouth. Fish don't even know what happened to it. Holy moly. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to get any photos today. Um, I'm just going to release this fish. Oh, oh, easy, easy. It is pissed. It is pissed because it realized that the little minnow that it ate was no good, huh? Now you realize that, huh? All right, let me unhook this guy here real, real quick. Give you guys a view, all right? Very feisty New Jersey rainbow trout on Corinthians Mickey's top of the mouth, man. EPF is win. All right, back you go, man. That was the first cast of the day. Holy moly. Did I just hit jackpot? Like, is this... I don't know. Is this the juicy spot? Is this what it is? I may just have found a honey hole. 
without even trying, without even knowing. You guys know, after the intros in my video, usually I shoot a little segment, right? Just kind of like give people some hints and tips on how to use the lure or talk a little bit about the area where I'm at, right? So, man, I just came here. It was like the first cast of the day. I wasn't even expecting, felt a little tap, you know? Little, you know, man, I had a fish on. I think I'm going to stick around this area for a little bit, maybe walk a little bit up, a little bit down, give it a few more casts. This may, this may just be juicy. Oh, there's one. Wow, that was fast. Wow, that was really fast. The fish pretty much bit on the drop. All right, let me go down here. Wow, this one's so pretty too, for some reason. Very blue and pink. Feisty. Wow, seriously, the colors on this one are really, really very good. Come over here, buddy. Ah, it's pissed. Wow, New Jersey trout. I'm gonna wet my hands real quick. Look at this. New Jersey trout. So beautiful, isn't it? All right, quick hook right over here. Look at that fish, man. You, I mean, you can't make this up. This is such a beautiful sample. All right, back you go. Wow, that was so fast, man. Went like thunder. This may just be the hot spot, folks. Dude, they are right in front of me. This is ridiculous. I don't even need to cast like all the way out there. The trout, they're like right in front of me. Look at this. I'm not even kidding. Like the whole school is right in front of me. You just jig the little EPF swim right in front of their faces. Now look at that. Wow, dude, you can't make this up. Now I have to be careful because this kind of sinks. I don't want to lose the fish, but at the same time, you know, don't want to just, uh, let me put my book back back here. Don't want to just kneel down here and then start sinking. You heard that noise right there? <laughs> that's, that's the mud. Beautiful fish right over here. All right, let's unhook this guy real fast. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, why you gotta do this to me, man? Ah, oh, I know, I know, you wanna go, right? You're probably wondering, man, what is this type of minnow that I just ate, huh? Something was definitely not right. You're right on point. Look how beautiful this rainbow trout is. The own Corinco's make it the pink on its body. They go super fast too. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Look, I showed you guys the time at the beginning of this video, right? Right now is 3.18 p.m., okay? I definitely found the mother load, the honey hole here in the canal you know this has got to be the place where they stuck the buckets i don't know man or the fish just really like around this area and the best part there's nobody out here fishing opening weekend man if i knew that the new jersey trout fishing was like this man i would have been going to the penny <laughs> all right i'm just messy okay i would still go to the pa trout openings but this is, this is pretty awesome, you know, and listen, if you got a few packs of the EPF swim, it is not just about the fish, be willing to buy it, right? On fire, okay? Let's keep fishing. If I were keeping fish today, technically I would have half of my limit already, right? I'm going to leave the rules and regulations here on the screen for those who are not familiar, but it's six a day, nine inches minimum until May 31st. So technically, man, in just like, boom, 30 minutes, you know, I will have caught half my limit already. And there's still fish down there biting. Let me see if I have a, a black here. Oh yes, we do, to match the jig head, you know? We got the black here with the blue flex, right? That's what's up. So I tied on a bigger jig, as you guys can see. I believe that this is a 332 ounce size six hook and the thing is like i'm gonna show you guys here real quick right the thing is you know uh we've been catching the trout 
around the area, which I mean is great, don't take me wrong, but the trout have been pretty small. I think that there may be some bigger ones more towards the bottom and I was using the 132 ounce, right, which really is too light for the current over here. So we're going to cast the heavier jig, but it is going to be the same game. Let it sink all the way to the bottom and just slowly jig and see if we can... Oh my goodness, it just had a bite. You see that? And uh, maybe see if we can land, I don't know, a bigger rainbow trout or maybe there's some goldens around here. I don't know. It's my first time fishing the stretch, so we'll see. Let's see if there's anything around here. Definitely got a hit. Oh, big one. I knew it. Big one on the bottom, man. Big one on the bottom. I knew it, bro. I knew it. Dude, dude, dude. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Big one on the bottom, man. I told you all, man. Change the jig, man. What did I tell you all, man? What, you, what did your boy say, man? Holy macaroni, bro. That's the biggest one of the day so far, man. All right, easy, easy. We got to take it easy with this one here. That's like closer to a pounder. Maybe even more than a pound. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dude, it just went crazy. <sighs> Four pounds test line, you know what I'm saying? You got you to play these ones. Sucks when you don't want to mistreat the trout, you know? Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, dude. Look, look at the size of this one, man. What did your boy say, man? What did EPF tell you guys, man? I had to cut a little bit of footage because it took me a little while to get the live well ready. This fish barely fits in the live well, okay? It is a 17 and a half. All right, close to two pounds trout, man. 1.82, oh, easy, easy. 1.82 pounds trout, dude. Look at this. Look at that, all right? All right, man, now we're going to release it. This one may need a little bit of reviving. I'm not 100% positive. Man, holy smokes. I told you all, man, you put a bigger jig, man, a bigger jig, and then the bigger fish is going to get it. Look at that. Can you believe that? Holy smokes, man. Whew. I don't know if it needs some reviving or not. I'm going to hold it by the tail. Oh, oh, dude, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Look at that. Dude, that is beautiful. It's just chilling all the way down there right in front of me wow dude that's what's up man close to two pounds now that is what i call a nice rainbow trout in terms of stocked at least for my area you know man that's what fishing is all about you know what i'm saying you come out here you, you enjoy the great outdoors. And I mean, sure, extreme fillet fishing is working too, right? Because I'm doing stuff for YouTube. But the, the main idea is you make a plan, right? I told you guys, man, you change the jig to a bigger jig, right? And you jig more towards the bottom. You may just catch a bigger one. And, and what, did I, what happened, huh? What happened, huh? Dang, son, dude, that is what's up, man. I wish that was a golden, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, one can dream, right? That's a good start. That is crazy. Oh, fish on. Bit on the drop. Is it big? Holy smokes, dude. I barely felt it. It just bit as soon as the thing dropped down there. That was just a regular. Now you see, that's the thing about using the bigger jig. I'm still using a size six hook. So I am jigging more towards the bottom. Yeah, it is true, 332. 
but the regular ones they can just as easily get to it you know uh, which is not bad at all right considering that i am a multi-species angler you know what i'm saying i welcome all of them all sizes though obviously i would have been much happier if this fella was like a golden or a much bigger rainbow right size wise though it's still a little bit bigger you know now that we're fishing more towards the bottom so i'm not unhappy about that that makes it number five of the day one more really and i would have my new jersey limit wow that's another very close by one well i tell you what i'm running out of time to fish today because i have to go back and catch the train this is theoretically speaking my sixth one of the day so let me just wet my hands here real quick and we're going to release this guy and then i'm going to shoot the outro real quickly and uh, we're going to talk about all the fish that we caught today a little bit about the epf swim yeah, go back where you belong, right? Beautiful, look at that. Yeah, so, as I was saying, EPF is swim, one inch, paddle tail is swim bait, boy, is still is lays, right? A lot of people have been asking me, yo, Leo, what is the setup, you know? What type of knot do you tie, right? I usually just use a reinforced clinch knot, right? And this is extremely important. I have emphasized in the description of the last video and I will emphasize in this video again, the size of the hook is very, very important for the EPF swim, okay? After all, it is a one inch lure. Make sure whatever jig you use, okay? That it is a size six hook or above for it to be effective. Albeit, obviously, I would recommend the Aerotackle soft lock tungsten jig, right? Not only it is tungsten, which is very good for filling the contours in the bottom, right? And for jigging, but the hook of the size, I mean the size, the hook of the size of the hook is just right. That's about it, man. If you got some EPF swim, hey, good for you. I'm happy for you. I appreciate all the love and support. If you didn't, it is going to be out of stock real soon. If not yet, by the time I launch this video, right? And I really don't know when Aerotaco is going to be stocking those again. So, I mean, <laughs> I will keep you all updated, you know, but hey, you know, we is laid the trout here in New Jersey, okay? Saturday, opening day here in New Jersey. I am still perplexed. I am astonished, right? This is very, very different than what I experienced in Philadelphia. Like, seriously, like, there's nobody around. There was nobody around the entire time that I was fishing out here. No combat fishing, no shoulder to shoulder. And I am leaving this place. I'm leaving the fish biting. You know what I'm saying? This is just ridiculous. This is... I don't even know what else to say, man. We landed that real nice fish, right? That was close to 18 inches, close to two pounds. That was definitely the highlight of the day. Man, it is a good day. Although I have to say for future YouTube videos, I'm really, really tired of catching the rainbow trout, the Onkorinkus Mikis. We definitely need to go after some browns or some brooks or even change the species a little bit. So stay tuned because there will be more videos on the channel soon okay and thanks for watching tie lines once again i appreciate all the love and support thanks for having my back and take it easy